Loch Lomond, Great White. Short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. This bloody heat, I am fucking dying in this weather. I'll never moan about the cold again. But enough about that, because I've got a can of this stuff. This is the Loch Lomond Brewery Great White White IPA. What is a white IPA, you might ask? I'll tell you in a sec. Firstly, this is the stuff that has been brewed in collaboration with Lidl. Lidl are selling this at their craft beer festival, which is currently going on. It is now August 2020. The craft beer festival is going on. They have got quite a few beers available in the shop. And I'm, it's literally just dawned on me that they're all Scottish brewers. You've got Stuart Brew and you've got Loch Lomond, and you've also got the Williams Brothers. So three Scottish brewers doing craft beer for Lidl. Wow, what have I got against English craft brewers? I don't know. Anyway, this is a white IPA. Now, white IPA is a merger of two styles. You have American IPA with its famous citrus hops, American grown citrus hops. And you've also got the Belgian style Vit beer type flavors in this. And what they've done is basically mash the two together. The idea for this came from a collaboration between two American brewers, would you believe? Uh, the Deschutes Brewery, which is based in Oregon, and one called the Boulevard Brewery, which was owned by a, a Belgian fella. And they got together, they did a collaboration, just as an experiment. It wasn't really to market something, but they merged the two styles. They liked it so much, they sold their new collaboration both under different names. Uh, the Just a quick word about the Witbeer style. I have put a video up about the history of Belgian Witbeer. If you want to refer to that, that will give you an idea of what you're mixing with the IPA to get this flavour. I've tasted white IPA, IPA before from Siren. It was an excellent one. To be honest, I thought it was more of a Belgian Wit than a, an American IPA, but Nevertheless, it did taste good. And of course, Loch Lomond have been going since 2011 and they are based in Loch Lomond. If you've never been there, you've got to get up there. It is a national park in Scotland. It is absolutely amazing. My sister went because apparently we're half Scottish. My mother's maiden name was Moffat. And apparently Moffat is a place in Dumfries and Galloway, which is in the lowlands. We're apparently somehow descended from there. I don't know how. I thought she was Irish. But we are, apparently. And she, after she visited there, she went up to the Highlands and said it was absolutely amazing. Almost spiritual. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. I've only ever been to Glasgow and it was a dump. No offence, any Glaswegians watching this. Right, let's get this open and let's see what's going on. Right, it is a 440ml can, it is 5%. As they say, it is a Belgian IPA. I really don't want to go into too much detail here. I want to get this filled out. This room is absolutely sweltering. This is going to warm up. This should be drunk cold. So I'm going to open it now and see what's going on. Yeah, it's just so hot in this room. It is unfucking believable. Right, here it goes into the glass. Right, now there's two types of hops in here, but from my experience of white IPA, this really isn't about the hops. This really is about the yeast. And it's got smart, uh, it's got Summit and Amarillo hops in it, which of course are both American hops, nice citrusy, floral hops. The white IPA from Siren was more like a, a Vit beer in its 
appearance and its aroma and flavor. This looks more like a sort of New England IPA in its appearance, very hazy and cloudy. And the aromas, I have to say, bursting with mango and passion fruit. A little touch of grapefruit, but I'm also getting the nice bitter orange and spicy sage and coriander that they've put in there. And I'm assuming that is coming from the yeast. It does smell really good though, I tell you. And I do like a Belgian vit. So this will be interesting. A New England and a Belgian vit. <music> Cheers. Mmm, really nice. I have to say, that is a real good one. It's the perfect balance between the two. Now, I know I keep comparing the, the white tips from Siren with this because it is a white IPA. That was full on Belgian, that was with just a hint of, of American hot flavor. This is straight down the middle. It's like a Belgian vit with all the bitter, spicy edges rounded off with peach, passion fruit, and mango, and it is lovely. You get all the lovely spice that you would on a vip, and as you swallow, you think you're gonna get that sort of mild tartness that you get from a Belgian vip and the, the spice, but you don't. It's super smooth, and you get a lovely, fruity, juicy finish, which is flavored with mango and passion fruit and sweet orange. And I have to say, on a day like this, this goes down very nicely indeed. Now, this has been in the fridge for a couple of days, so it's quite cold. It's warming up quite quickly in this room because it's really warm in this room. Oh, but it's really good. Really, really impressed with that. I think I have to say, this is probably one of the best white IPAs that I have tried. Really, really nice. The perfect balance between the two styles. Really have got this spot on. I love it. And the fact that it's crossed with a New England, I don't think a West Coast would have cut it because the Vit beer is a little bit bitter and a little touch tart with that yeast that they use. So I think with a West Coast style, you know, the bittering on a West Coast style IPA would just be too much. This needs to be a New England and that's what they've done here and it is perfect. I love this. This is the best white IPA I've tasted so far. lovely balance of spice and fruit oh it's great that is absolutely great and it has bowled me over so what's the verdict on this yeah this is really good i am super impressed with this now this costs one pound 79 and for the money you cannot beat that this if it, as I said, on the last one that I tried from the Little Craft Brew range that came from Stuart Brewing, that was their New England IPA, that was pretty good. But what I said on that was that if Cloudwater had brewed that, then that would have cost almost three times more. Sorry, in the earlier in the program, it's just dawned on me again. Earlier in this review, I said Stuart Brewing were from Scotland, they're not, they're from Manchester. But nevertheless, both of these type of beers, if they were brewed by Cloudwater, would have cost twice, possibly even three times the amount. But this is really nice. And white IPA is a really good style to get into. If you like your Belgian Vit beers and you like your New England IPAs, this is the perfect match. It really is. This is the best one I've tried.
Um, for the money, for the flavour, and just everything about it, that's a 10 out of 10. That's how much I like that beer. Because it's doing exactly what a white IPA should do. It should be the perfect balance between the two styles. They've got that down to a T, but not only that, it's being sold for a very cheap price. Now, I don't know whether the brewery is benefiting from that or not, but I've got a couple more beers in there from Loch Lomond, which I am really looking forward to now. Now that I've tasted this one, it's just good. It just makes you think that they know what they're doing. Perfect. Well done, Loch Lomond. That's a 10 out of 10, and that is a big thumbs up from me. Excellent. And remember, beer is working class champagne.